Hey guys, welcome to By George and More. Today we're going to do a YouTube tutorial on the Anna Mini Envelope. It is a pattern, an Oakley Roots pattern. If you want to join me, you can actually get the PDF from Shop Oakley Roots. It's a free PDF. The SVG has um, a small donation that goes to charity if you want the SVG file. On her site, you can also get the acrylic templates. They look like this with all the separate pieces. So you get six pieces for $25. And if you decide that you want to add an ID template, this is on there on her site as well. All right, so this is what we're gonna be doing today, these little cuties. There's a couple different options. Aren't they cute? I love them. All right, so with this particular one, I used cork and I put an ID slot on the back right here. I wanted to try that out. And this, I used um, Glitterbug Fairy um, vinyl with cork and I put the tab on it with a keychain ring. This one is also Glitterbug Fairy vinyl and cork with a tab. Um, another Glitterbug Fairy in cork. Now, this cork is a little bit thinner and it worked out just fine. Um, and I did use your separate accent piece for this part right here and I have a separate flap. Um, the vinyl is separate from the cork. So that's a different option. And I did use some heat transfer vinyl for the inside. So yeah, okay, this is the last one I wanted to show you because I did actually use a cotton lycra. I wanted to see if I could fuse it and use it um, and be okay with the like edges being wrong. And I love it, it turned out really cute. Eventually I hope to learn how to do some edge coating. I haven't really done that, but that's kind of maybe in the works for the future. So yeah, isn't that cute? Yeah, this fabric is a backstitch fabric, and this cute little snap right here comes from Zorel. Isn't that cute? So yeah, um, we'll do two different versions just so that you know how to do the ID um, option. Um, and then the one option will have your different accent pieces so that you know how to do that. Yeah, so thank you for joining me. Have fun, happy sewing. Let's gather our materials. I'm using cork for this project. I'm using the acrylic templates to cut out my pattern. Key ring hardware, don't forget your bag tag. Double-sided tape, scissors, your clear vinyl, rotary cutter, lighter, fabric marking pin and clips, and of course your stiletto. You'll need some coordinating snaps and some snap pliers. If you decide to add key fob hardware, you will need key fob pliers and some super glue or fabric glue. I will be showing you how to add heat transfer vinyl to one of your mini envelopes. Let's begin by cutting out our pattern pieces. I'll be tracing around my acrylic templates. Since I am making two Anna mini envelopes, I have marked my pattern pieces one and two. I'm pretty sure it takes longer to cut out the pieces than it actually takes to sew them together. Yeah, I definitely got a cramp in my hand. Now I'm setting up my pieces in their respective piles. Pile number one and pile number two. Anybody else see the cat? Let's go ahead and prep our vinyl piece for our ID window. I'll cut this about one fourth of an inch larger than the ID window opening. I'll set this aside with the second mini envelope that I'll be doing in a little bit. Don't forget to mark your snap placement on your envelope flap in your accent piece. Here are the pieces you'll need for your accent envelope. I have accented the envelope flap and the front triangle piece. 
I have used my handy dandy double sided tape to attach my accent triangle piece to my envelope front. Now that my accent piece will not move around, I will take it to the machine and I will attach it with a 1 8 inch seam allowance. Do not stitch the bottom of your accent piece. Now go ahead and attach your receiving snap to the body of the envelope. I like to go ahead and do this portion of the snap now because it's really difficult to get the pliers inside the envelope after it is stitched together. The flap snap will be added after I've completed top stitching the entire envelope. With right sides together, let's go ahead and add our envelope flap to the back body of the envelope. Stitch with one quarter inch seam allowance. Now tuck your seam allowance to the back of your envelope body. Top stitch in place with a 1 8 inch seam allowance. Snip any loose threads and seal all your threads off with a flame. With wrong sides together, we will attach the front to the back of the envelope. Ooh, I almost forgot to add our ring tab. Let's bring out our handy dandy double sided tape. Fold your tab in half, secure it with a piece of double sided tape. At the end where the raw edges are, add another piece of double sided tape. Choose which side you would like your tab on. Secure in place about one inch to one quarter inch from the bottom edge. Clips and more clips, the more the merrier. Now let's head to the machine and top stitch the entire envelope. One eighth of an inch. Let's clip our thread stragglers and seal any of our thread ends and we'll go ahead and add a snap. I've used my stiletto to make a snap hole. Make sure you're adding the correct end of the snap. Give a little squeeze and voila, looky there. On this envelope, I have decided to add a 1 8 inch top stitch at the fold of the envelope flap. Okay, we are almost done. Take a moment to check and make sure all your sides are nice and even. If not, just go ahead and trim them to where they are all nice and even. Final step is to add the key ring. Let's go ahead and get started on our envelope with our ID pocket. There are a few less pieces with this envelope. We will be working with clear vinyl for our ID pocket window. You also have your front envelope piece and your back envelope piece. Go ahead and add your clear vinyl to your ID pocket window with a 1 8 inch seam allowance. It should look something like this. Your loose threads I would pull to the back of your ID pocket piece and tie them off and then seal your threads with a flame. Be extra careful not to burn or melt your clear vinyl. Trim the clear vinyl as close to the seam allowance as you can get without cutting into the stitches. Just like we did on the previous envelope, let's go ahead and add our snap to our front envelope panel. We'll do something a little different here and add heat transfer vinyl to the lining. You don't really have to do this, but it does give it a little pop of color. Make sure you follow the manufacturer's instructions when applying the heat transfer vinyl. It's going to be pretty toasty, so just be careful. Give it a moment to cool down before you peel off the backing. If you notice any of the heat transfer vinyl peeking out from the backside, just go ahead and give it a little trim. It really does make it sparkle. Let's add our ID pocket. I rely on good old faithful double-sided tape. I fold the top of the ID pocket wrong sides together till it meets the clear vinyl. I use my double-sided tape to tack it in place. 
Now give it a top stitch, 1 8 inch from the top. We will use my best friend double sided tape to attach the ID pocket to the base of the envelope. Go ahead and stitch in place with a 1 8 inch seam allowance all around the edge of your pocket window. The backing on the double sided tape did not want to come off. Now let's go ahead and add our front envelope piece. For this one, we will also be adding a tab for our key fob hardware. We will add these pieces just like the pieces from the previous envelope. Our double sided tape came back for a visit. Use it to secure your tab together and then to secure your tab in place. I like the tab placement to be about one and a quarter inches from the bottom. This tab measurement is one inch by one and a half inches. Sew your front envelope panel in place with a one eighth inch seam allowance. We are almost done. Let's go ahead and add our snap. Just be mindful and make sure that you add the correct snap. Fold your flap and create a crease. Sew a seam on the crease line. Now all we have left is our key fob hardware. Place your hardware into your key fob pliers. Add a couple of drops of glue. Make sure your hardware fits nicely over your key fob tab and give it a good squeeze. And looky there, we are all done. They turned out fantastic. I'm really loving that I can add an ID pocket onto these cute little Anna mini envelopes. You can really give them some pizzazz by adding your accent pieces as well. The ID pocket actually holds a standard sized driver's license or ID or a school ID. It also holds a business card and a gift card. If you want to be a little brave, go ahead and try to use some cotton lycra. Just fuse it with some Therafuse or some Decoville Heavy, Decoville Light. You can even zhuzh it up with a little bit of edge coat. Have fun and happy sewing. Thank you so much for joining me today on this awesome little tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it was a fun little project. And yeah, how cute is that? It's perfect for your keys on your keychain. Um, especially if you're like, you know, if you're just going somewhere real quick, maybe you're just going to the grocery store or I don't know, just you don't need your whole purse or something. This is actually quite perfect to put your ID or, you know, maybe a debit card inside or maybe a little bit of cash or whatever. And it's just all together with your keys. Yeah, so I think they're pretty lovely. This cork is from Fabric Funhouse. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Um, and I have lots of little scraps, so this is a great scrap buster too. That's why I save all my scraps. But yeah, here are the rest of them. Don't forget, you've got lots of options. You can use different grades of vinyl, different grades of cork. Um, you can do your uh, ID pocket. You can do your accent pieces. Um, also, if you're brave enough to try the cotton lycra, I say go for it um, because it doesn't fray. And... If you don't have the Therafuse or self-adhesive Therafuse, I think maybe trying uh, Decoville Heavy, maybe one layer, or maybe two layers of Decoville Light. Um, I think maybe that would work, but I mean, you won't know unless you try. So yeah, thank you so much for coming and joining me and sewing with me today. I really had a good time. I hope you did too. Bye.